Well, hi, this is Scott from softwarearchitect.ca, and Microsoft has done it again. I have noticed this week that they have announced some changes to the AZ300 requirements, and I want you to know about them. Now, don't be too alarmed. Microsoft does this every three months, so you should expect for any of the Azure exams that there will be slight tweaks, uh, things added to the requirements of these exams around every three months. So this is the late winter uh, changes to this exam requirement. Now the AZ300 change says it's effective as of February 22nd, which is just about a week from now from the time that I record this. So if you've got your, your exam booked after February 22nd, you should be aware of these changes. Now don't be worried, the changes are not too big, there's just a couple of tweaks to those things, but something you should actually look into. The first change has to do with virtual machines. Now the existing requirements already have a couple of large topics talking about virtual machines. It already had requirements to do creation and configuration of virtual machines and the second requirement had to do with automation of the deployment of virtual machines. Now Microsoft has added a third virtual machine related requirement that says implement solutions that use virtual machines. Now if we dig a bit deeper into this we'll see that what they mean by that is you need to understand how to provision virtual machines, how to create ARM templates, and how to configure Azure Disk encryption for virtual machines. All of these are actually pulled out from the official Microsoft landing page. If you go to the AZ300 landing page, scroll down a little bit, you'll see the change announced, and actually Microsoft will tell you more details by clicking this link. So these are the changes to the requirements for virtual machines. Now, for provisioning VMs, since we already have large requirements in terms of creating and man managing and maintaining virtual machines, provisioning to me simply means being able to, to call the CLI scripts or the uh, PowerShell scripts in order to create virtual machines. It's just an extension of what we've already been doing. Now, there is a whole section on ARM templates, and this requirement that says create ARM templates presumably means you need to be able to um, understand the components that go into creating of an ARM template for a virtual machine and uh, so maybe spend some more time studying the format of an ARM template. And finally, uh, configuring Azure Disk Encryption. So there's a little bit of a step to go through to create Azure Disk Encryption for a virtual machine, but I've done it and it's not, not too difficult and we'll create a video on that. Now the, that's the first thing that's changed. The second thing that's changed has to do with Azure Storage. Now Microsoft has added storage uh, as a specific requirement. Now in the last version of AZ300, there was not much talk about storage. There were some data security um, requirements, but nothing just to do with understanding how storage works. So this might have been an oversight from the original requirements. So the two storage related tasks that Microsoft's adding has to do with Cosmos DB and Azure SQL Database. If we look at the Cosmos DB requirement, you need to understand how to create, read, update, and delete data using APIs. It specifically says that. You also need to understand how par partitioning works and develop a partitioning strategy. And finally, Cosmos DB allows you to set consistency levels. And so we'll have to have a video talking about data consistency within Cosmos DB. This particularly has to do with when you have replicated databases around the world and you are writing to the database in one area and you want to be able to read from the database from another area and making sure that those those uh, reads and writes are synchronized. And finally the requirement to do with relational database again I thought this was an oversight in the original ones but being able to provision an Azure SQL database understanding uh, elastic pools within SQL DB and finally the interaction with that create read update and delete data tables using code. And that's it. So the understanding of uh, virtual machines a little bit more, Cosmos DB, Relational Database, those three things have been added to the AZ300 exam and you should uh, take some steps to add them to your study plan if your exam is after February 22nd, which it probably is. This has been Scott. Thank you so much for listening and wish you best of luck on your exam.